this video blog I'm going to be talking about settlement agreements um, and particularly from the perspective of an employee. So a settlement agreement is a legally binding contracted agreement between two parties which normally results in the termination of the employment of an employee on agreed terms. The employee has to go and get legal advice from a solicitor in order for that to be enforceable. It would usually involve a compensatory payment to the employee. So a settlement agreement would, in my experience, deal with a number of issues. The issues would include the treatment of any shares or share options, how restrictive covenants would be dealt with in the employment contract, um, any accrued but untaken holiday, the provision of a reference to any future employer, and the tax treatment of any compensation payment that's made. So for the best outcome to be achieved, it's really important, in my experience, to understand the situation in detail. That would normally involve understanding and digesting all the relevant documentation, contracts of employment, policies, in order to identify if there is any leverage enjoyed by the employee to renegotiate the terms that have been offered to him or her. So here at Lodders, um, we would normally take a twofold approach to a settlement agreement. We would firstly make sure that the drafting of the document was fair and that our client's interests were protected moving forward. But secondly, we would always seek to identify if there was any opportunity to renegotiate the compensation that had been offered to our client. In our experience here at Lodders, the production of a settlement agreement is the start of the negotiation and not the end. In our experience, a party's first offer is rarely their best offer. If you'd like to get in touch with me in relation to anything that I've talked about in this video blog, then please do feel free to get in touch at any time.